It took me over a year to stop taking benzodiazepines as a regular part of my mental health recovery plan. My name is Noah and I got hooked on clonopin. Not deep, deep hooked, but two and a half milligrams a week hooked to the point that when I realized I was using it as a crutch, when it wasn't as needed anymore for my, my severe anxiety and my rumination and, and my mental health issues, uh, I realized I had a physical dependence. I figured that out when I made a video about July 2016. I started taking clonopin to deal with feelings I couldn't get a hold of. Anxious feelings, bad feelings, whatever. Tightness in my chest, race brain to the point where I was ready to just explode. And clonopin was like this miracle drug for me. But then I started taking it to deal with hangovers. Then I started taking it just in case I wasn't going to feel well. And pretty soon I had a physical tolerance. Now I didn't think I did, but then someone challenged me not to take one for like a few days. And by day four or five, I was not feeling right. Anxiety was peaking out of control. And I was getting like these brain zaps, like this hot, burny feeling in my skin. And it freaked me out, like freaked me out bad. And so I spent a few months after that really looking myself in the mirror and trying to come to terms with whether or not I was using it as a crutch or if it was now becoming a problem. And I decided it was becoming a problem. And so I started coming off through the guidance and the support of my doctor and my therapist. I worked my way down to 0.125 every other day. 0.125 clonopin every other day. But then I just stopped coming off it. For whatever reason, the idea of completely coming off this stuff freaked me out. It was like, it made me feel safe. I was having like the best mental health year ever. And I was like, what if this is like the secret ingredient? What if like, I just, I'm one of those people that has to have a benzo in his system a little bit all the time. Uh, and I just was okay with that. I was no longer taking it to deal with any hangovers. Um, not that that was like a daily thing, but maybe once a week, twice a week. I remember getting up if I'd been out socially drinking and or just getting pretty hammered with buddies. The next day, I'd be like, oh, I'm more anxious. I'll call it up and it'll make it better. And I knew that was not appropriate. I knew that was wrong and it ate me up inside. And I talked about it on this channel. So I was proud of myself. I got down to 0.125 every other day. Did that slowly over the course of a few months. But then what happened? I just stopped because I couldn't imagine taking it completely out of my, my system. What if everything got worse? And I decided to do YouTube full time two months ago and I was looking myself in the mirror again, just reflecting, saying, what changes are you still not making that you could be making? What's keeping you from being the best version of yourself? In what ways are you lying to yourself? How, how are you being dishonest with, with your truth, with what you know to be right deep down? And one of the things that was lingering was this. And so I just... I saddled up and, and I really reflected on what aspects of my needing to take 0.125 milligrams of clonopin every other day, every other day uh, might be. What aspects are based on reality and anxiety and fear? Try to look at it objectively, less emotionally. And I had no excuse. My psychiatrist was talking to me. He's like, listen, you can keep taking this if you want, but at your size, already about 205, 210, at your size, at that dose, it's like sprinkling fairy dust over your head. So it was a very much a psychological issue. And I just realized I wasn't ready. I wasn't willing to, to have that be my, my, my story anymore. I was willing to take a chance. And I was willing to get out of my own way. And I'm not trying to put myself on the pedestal, but two months. I have not taken any of my benzo for two months. And I feel great. I feel great. And I feel great in the sense that nothing happened. I did the work, I came off it, I'm doing so much to address the issues of anxiety and depression that still linger with me and my personality, like mindfulness and obsession. I, I work at those things now in, in ways that are more sustainable that I can finally go back to saying this is a tool. It is not something that for my regiment personally, because I'm not judging anyone that might take benzos every day, listen to your doctor, don't worry about what I'm thinking in that regard, I have no judgments, I swear. I promise, I promise. But for me, I knew I didn't need it every day, I didn't need it every other day. I was just using it as a, as, a, as a crutch, literally like some psychological crutch. So uh, now I'm back to using it as needed, which I haven't needed it. But if I do, now I can, I can have this for when I do. Not like, hmm, gonna go drinking, so I better make sure I have my clonopin by my bedside in the morning. F that. That's not right for me. That ain't, that's not cool with me anymore. So now it's like I, I get to be a lot more respectful of the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts for my brain and I feel good. It's like there's something about living in your truth, just like listening to your inner voice and actually going with it.
that feels so good. You just feel so empowered by that. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it took me a really long time and maybe some of you are struggling to get back onto an as needed regimen with your benzodiazepine or you develop some sort of connection and attachment to it like I can't not have it and you convince yourself that you can't and maybe this would empower you to explore that more. I don't want you to just jump off your benzo cold turkey major risks associated with that. So do it with a doctor's supervision, do it carefully. Uh, coming off of benzos is no joke and micro tapers are a real thing. And if you're someone who's like, nope, I know exactly how this interacts with me, been taking it for years, doing great, God bless you. I'm not here to tell you what to do, what not to do. But if there's someone out there like me that was just hanging on to this little pill like a crutch and, and you know deep down that you're misusing it, you're abusing it, you're not living your truth, Give yourself an opportunity. Give yourself an opportunity to, to be surprised by yourself. Because I was like, man, maybe I'm just going to be one of those people that's on Clonopin like his whole life low dose. Like I'll just take it every other day and that's just my story. And, and, uh, and it's not. It's not what I needed. I know that. And I feel much better for it. Mental health is doing solid. And it certainly it puts a curb on other behaviors. When you're not using one thing to, to deal with another misbehaving or another character defect, it allows you to work on the whole package. Ergo, uh, I'm more mindful of when I choose to ingest alcohol because I'm not about to let myself off the hook if I choose to. It's a whole different story and I just wanted to share that with you guys. I, I didn't know if I'd ever make this video. I told myself, you better get a couple months without taking any of your clonopin before you make this video, before I, I get presumptuous about what's going on. So things are going great. My name is Noah. Uh, share your benzo experience with me. Some of you guys have helped me through that uh, tremendously just by sharing what's going on with you. So I appreciate it. That is a life update of sorts. We'll see you guys in the next video. I got some cool content planned for this week or stuff that I'm excited about, but I just wanted to level with you guys on that. I still like to, on a side note, I still like to travel with it. I like knowing that it's there, um, but I really like knowing that I don't have to take it tomorrow or today or this week to be okay. I'm okay, and it really has re-engaged me these last couple months and all the other things that I need to be doing to feel okay, stay okay. So... That's what it is. Thank you so much for your time. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.